This video is recorded to help my students to understand more about the big O notation. Let's see the definition. By definition, let f and g be two functions from n to n. n you can see is a, a set of positive integers. Then f equal big O g is if there are positive constants c and n zero, such that for any n greater than equal to n zero, we have fn less than equal to c times gn. The notation f equal big O g is read as f is O of g. Now, in this notation, uh, in this definition, students need to understand the n0 and the c are not unique. If you find the 1n0, 1c, such that for n greater than n0, we have fn less than equal to c times gn, then for any n0 that is for any number that is greater than this n0 can be used to replace n0. Now, for example, if your n0 is 100, so for any n greater than or equal to 100, you will have fn less than or equal to c times gn. Of course, for any, if the num for any number greater than 1000, definitely will greater than 100, right? So you can use 1000 to replace 100. So you use a large number, replace n0, no problem. The same thing. If your fn, suppose your c equal 10, if your fn less than or equal 10 times gn, then you replace 10 by 100, fn less than or equal to 100 times gn. That's also okay. Now, notice this function, since uh, the function value is a positive number, that's why, positive integer, that's why this is true. If, if you replace by the large c, the inequality will still true. So, if we want to prove to show that f is O of g, we only need to find 1n0 and 1c, such that for any n greater than n0, we have fn less than equal to cgn. I already made a video uh, to show several examples on this. Now today, I wanted to show you one example to say, if you wanted to show that f is not O of g, what we need to prove if you want to prove f is not O of g. Then we need to prove that uh, you cannot find n0 uh, and c such that you know for n greater than n0, you always have n fn less than c times gn. What that mean? That means no matter what is constant c, no matter what is n0, you always can find some n is greater than n0 such that fn is greater than c times gn, okay? Now, this is go back to chapter one, logic. You, you, you need to understand how to uh, disprove that. That means you know how to prove f is not O of g. So f is not O of g, which means no matter what constant c and what n0 is, you always can find some n is greater than n0 but fn is greater than c times gn. So that's where proof f is not uh, O of g. So let's give an example. For, your, for example, I said uh, n divided by 100,000 is not O of square root of n. This equivalent say, uh, even this coefficient is 1 O 1,000, that means n divided by 100,000, uh, 100, even n divided by 100,000, you say divide a large number, but it's still slower than square root of n when n is big enough. What that mean? That, that means if you have one algorithm, his running time is n divided by 100,000. Another algorithm, the running time is square root of n. Then the algorithm with running time of square root of n will go faster when n is very large. Okay, so to prove this, the first step we prove, uh, we try to solve the equation. Suppose you give me any c, okay? I say if I can always somehow find n is greater than, uh, find n, n over 100,000 is greater than c times square root of n. So I solve this inequality. But so to solve this inequality, I multiply 100,000 100, both sides, divide the square root of n both sides, I got a, inequality equivalent, the square root of n is greater than 100,000 c. Then I square both sides since they're all positive, right? So 
then I have n greater than uh, I don't know this how much, but it's a large number times c square. What that mean? That mean when n is greater than no matter what c you give to me, once you give me a c, c is a constant, c square is a constant. This big number times c square is still a constant. When this n is greater than this constant, you will always have n over one hundred thousand greater than c times square root of n. That means no matter what n zero you give to me, I always can find the n is very large. How large? Is larger than the large one of this large number and n zero. I that that means I always pick can pick up an n is greater than n zero. Okay. Now, of course, when I pick this n, I will also try to make it greater than this large number. Then I will have n over 100,000 greater than c times square root of n. So, which mean, uh, so this proof shows no matter what c you give to me, no matter what n0 gave to me, I always can find n greater than n0 such that this n over 100,000 is still greater than c times square root of n. That proof n over 100,000 is not uh, O of square root of n. Okay, if you have any questions, please give me an email.